Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training. Today, I'll talk about importation of service or we call it reverse charge mechanism in GST. In SQL, we have a very special code called RSA. So you can check it out under, two, under GST, maintain text. We have a text code called RSA, which is not in the default 23 GST text code. But this is a special text code that SQL created to handle the reverse charge mechanism, or we call it recipient self-accounting. So over here you can see that we set the input text code and also output text code under the same text code for RSA. Input text code we set as TX, which we can claim. And then output text we charge as dim supply. Now, what will happen is, let's say we are importing a service from overseas, we um getting a overseas consultant to come over to do a training. This is called an importation of service, and you need to do the reverse charge mechanism. That means you are charging uh, output tax and also at the same time claiming input tax. How to do that is we maintain a supplier. For example, this Nokia as foreign currency supplier, and you must have the foreign currency module. So you can set the foreign currency over here. Then we do a supply invoice as usual. So let's say this Nokia. So we have a purchase or well, you can as expenses. So this is training. So 1000 USD. So you can change the rate to 4. So you can see that. And then the tax code you need to select is RSA. There's no GST. Okay, RSA. Save it. We put in, let's say. We put as RSA RSA ID up here purchase invoice. Save it. So let's see what will happen. Because there's no GST over here, meaning that there's no claiming of input tax. But when you do a payment let's say we pay at the same month so it's not here same things we pay let's say this is RSA pay on the same month this is 4000 this in ringgit because we pay by Maybank. The system auto calculate the exchange rate for you. They'll show an exchange gain and loss if there is any. Done. So let's process GST03 and see what will happen. Now we go to GST03. First thing we let's check over the output tax. So the output tax you can see that the system will charge the GST okay for that transaction 3800 and at the same time over the input tax the system will also claim the input tax so even though you do not understand what is reverse charge mechanism no worry SQL accounting system will handle it automatically as long as you remember to select the RSA as the tax code during the entry of the purchase invoice or supplier invoice. Now, that's all for today. If you do have time, please drop by at my Facebook or you can come to my website, syntech.com.my. 
click on YouTube and you can have all the previous SQL tutorial video. And again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.